Uh, yeah, so next up we've got Drone, and he's going to be talking about death in video games. Oh, sounds heavy. Yes. Can you? Thank you. How does this thing work? All right. Um, hi, uh, I'm Jeroen Janssen. I'm a game designer at Happy Volcano. Uh, I'm also the business developer there. Um, we are three people and we work uh, at night because we have a, a daytime job. So we are working on a game called Winter, which I want to talk to you about. Uh, and Winter is about that and how we um, want to perceive that in, in video games. So. What happens if this is the, the, the start screen of, of the game? What if, if um, the game over screen is actually where the game starts? Um, sorry. This thing is working. One moment. So um, that, well, that is actually a, a really emotional moment or, or flaws and grief in, uh, in, in, in human life. Um, and it's, it's the, the only way we, we try to, uh, we, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the only way we can try to cope with it is, is time and, and, and sadness and maybe some anger. But at the same time, in video games, you don't have these feelings. In video games, grief and, and loss is, is um, it's not part of it especially if that is, is, is a game mechanic. Um, sure, you can get frustrated or you can angry or maybe you, you rage quit um, your game, but, but it doesn't really mean anything to be dying in a, in a, game, uh, in a game. So we want to see how, 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 do you really, how can you really care about uh, your death in a, in, a, in a video game. So that's what we, why we made Winter. And Winter is... Um, it's written by, by Jos van der Kastel. He's, uh, he's a Flemish author. Uh, he's quite famous in Belgium then, I think. Um, he, he wrote some books and, and, and a TV series and, and, and actually he wrote columns for, for Dutch newspapers as well. Uh, but this is his first video game. And it's, the story is about a little girl. Um, and we meet up with her uh, in the second before she dies. So the whole game takes place in one second. Um, she's actually in a coma after a, 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 a terrible accident uh, which she was in with, a, with her father. And the thing is, um, you, you um, um, sorry, I lost my track. Yes, um, so actually what you're going to do in the game is you're going to choose for her if she lives or dies. And it's a really hard fucking choice to make for someone. Um, and that's why, why we want to make the death as a, as a valid kind of choice. Uh, because normally you need to survive in a game. And death is a losing condition if you, if you lose a match three game or if you, if you uh, lose in a, in a match of, of, um, of Call of Duty. Um, you're going you're gonna to maybe be angry at the, at the other player that killed you. But it's, it's, not, it's not really uh, like, like a hard... Like, Thing is, you, the moment you um, you start you start again in, in a few seconds, so it doesn't really matter your death. Um, so, if I if I would ask you right now if if you choose life or death for the little girl, you probably all choose life because that's what we are programmed to do. We're humans. We're we're born to survive. Uh, we're, we're programmed that way. Um, but it's, that's not always the case because you can. Sometimes it's even better to, to die, to sacrifice yourself for a loved one. Um, and that's also uh, something we explored in our previous game. It's, it's a, like a kind of a silly uh, endless runner, but it, you're the, sacrif the, the sacrifice to the, to the volcano, so you have to not die on the, on the way down. Uh, but in the end, you still die because you, you sacrifice yourself to the to the to the volcano god, uh, so to speak. So that's really um, a common theme, I guess, in our in our video games. Um, so no, this one. So what makes the choice 
so hard? What makes it so difficult for, for you to choose life over death or death over life? And that's the story behind the little girl because you, you get to, during the course of the game, you get to know her, her situation, you get to know her, uh, her story, the, the story of her family. Like, and like every family, she has like sad, sad moments and they have happy moments, but you get to know that there's maybe not a, sign, a kind of a healthy relationship uh, between the parents and between the little girl. And maybe it's better if you choose that over, over life. Um, and that, that choice is gonna, you're gonna make it from your own experiences, from you, what you have lived in your life, your nature, your nurture, your, 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 your emotions. And that, that will actually be the, the most difficult choice in, in the game, of course. Um, so, this is how the game. A little bit about about the the, the, the graphical and and what we what we're trying to represent uh, here is you have you have like the, this isometric view. So you're it's kind of an outer body experience. You look at the places that you that you lived your whole life. So the, the places that you know best, like your your um, your uh, TV room, living room. Um, it's re represented like in real life. Of course, it's a, it's a game, but it's re represented really well. But the, but the the places that you never visited, like the dark woods and 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 the the person um, that lives in in this house, it's like twisted and 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 the 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 sizes of the of the tiles are not not all the same. Um, so so you can turn them around and really. Look, take a look at all, all the all the sites, and that is how you find the clues. Uh, it's kind of a, we call it a narrative exploration game, but you could also call it an adventure game. Um, and you find these clues of of of, the, of yourself and of your parents, but also of, the, of the, all the other people that died in the same in the same second as you. And and that's uh, yeah, that's actually winter. So thank you.